Hello, everyone. We are here with the very, very gorgeous Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. And yourself? Good, good. Thank you for joining us today. So for those that don't know, Sarah is actually the winner, the first prize place getter in our most recent Inner Fit Summer Shred. And I have been so blessed to have Sarah on today to talk to us about her journey. So Sarah, thank you so much for coming on. I know it's a little bit daunting. No, you're welcome. Would you mind telling us a little bit about yourself, who you are, have you got kids, what do you do? Um, I am currently a wellbeing leader in a school um, and I work four days a week and I have three stepsons, they're 21, 17 and 14 and I have two little ones who are six and two. My goodness, that keeps you busy, yeah? Yeah, very busy. That's yeah. wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, wow, that's phenomenal. So talk to me for a minute about your life before you, you and your health before you joined the Inner Fit family. Um, I'd always been, even before kids um, and before getting married, I'd always been jumping around, not completely happy with, my weight, um, with my health, did not have a good relationship with food. It became something that I used to use when I was tired or sad or um, happy, <laughs> basically every emotion. Um, and I had yo-yoed through different types of dieting, so um, intermittent fasting and I did a couple of other plan type um, diets or shreds. And nothing really seemed to work. I'd lose a bit of weight. I lost weight for my wedding, but I was working with someone who basically said that I could only eat for five hours a day. So, And I was training every day. So I lost a fair bit of weight. But then as soon as I went back to a, a relatively normal life, just put it all back on plus more. Um, I had pretty rough births with my two little ones and recoveries. So getting back to training after that, as well as them being young kids, was not something that I even oh, thought nice. of. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been not a not a great journey. And I had sort of just got to the point, I think I was the heaviest I've ever been when I signed up because I'd just kind of given up to, you know, like, oh well, I'll just go with what I'm doing. Nothing's worked, you know. And I wasn't happy, but I just didn't really know what to do, to be yeah. honest. Just kind of given up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I was still active with the kids but just not watching food and not, you know, um, being active the way I needed to be to look after me. So, But I was tired all the time so I didn't play with them as much as I probably should have either. It's because you were busy, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard with little kids. We underestimate how much energy and we love them but mm. all our energy goes to doing things for them or thinking about doing things for them and not sleeping at night is the other killer I think for yeah young young mums or mums of young kids yeah so. absolutely absolutely so what made you reach out to us particularly well, long 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 short story um I had been wanting to do something for a while and then I have some lovely work colleagues who knew you already and had actually done the shred the year before and I'd watched them go through it and been quite inspired by them doing it but then I'd sort of forgotten about it because it had been quite a while since the year before and then um Tanya actually and Martine actually said to me oh we're doing this again why don't you join us so then it ended up being and I just went yep yeah, like my something in my brain just went now now we're doing this, this is the right time. So I knew that I'd be dedicated. I didn't realise quite how dedicated I'd be to it, so I'm glad, but I knew I'd be committed and it was really lovely also knowing that there ended up being five of us from work doing it together. So that was really inspiring and motivating and that that's basically how I started the journey. Yeah, that's amazing. The power of peer pressure, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and competition. Competition. Competition is a big one as well. So, yeah, we find in in those shreds too that because everyone's in there, there is the competition factor, but there's also that little bit of accountability, that yes. unspoken. <laughs> yeah, and that was that was really good because it was going through Christmas time, and 
you know, there's food everywhere and people are bringing chocolates in. And so, you know, when we had morning teas at work, which we do, you know, not often, but every now and then we'd all watch each other and be like, excuse me. Don't do it. <laughs> do it. Um, and you know have our own food there and we'd be able to help each other with the, the planning and you know as it got into it there were lots of things we were able to help each other with as well which was really really good really beneficial that's amazing I'm so pleased for the group of you too and yes some of those ladies have been around on the inner fit circles for a little while which is mm. which is such a blessing yeah so can I ask how has being a part of the inner fit family now for four months because you're now in the metabolism mastermind as well so you yeah. continued on with us how has being a part of the inner fit family changed maybe the way you view your health um there's been so many things um through it I guess initially when I started it it was a bit of a competition and it was yes I'm finally going to get to actually look after me um the beauty of the shred was that there was the step challenge with it as well but together. So you're not only focusing on the food, but also without realizing it, sometimes increasing your, your movement. Um, and then on the days that were slow, actively making time to be able to get those steps in, which I wouldn't have done before I would have come home and sat on the couch. So that was a, that was a big thing. So looking at, I, and now I constantly will look at my, watch and go, yep, okay, I need to get those steps up. Um, and even if I don't have a space in that day to exercise outside because of the kids or whatever reason, I still make sure I get the steps in the backyard or in the house or wherever wherever I can. So that is a huge mindset change in movement. Um, when it comes to food, so much learning, so much growth. Um, I Never real the first, and I still remember it. The first massive shock for me was when, with the shred, putting up how many calories were in four squares of chocolate. And I will be really honest here in front of everyone. There would be nights where I would come at home and eat two, one to two blocks of chocolate I because, yeah, <laughs> because you know the the dad been dad bad and my husband bless him would be like well I'll bring you some chocolate home and I'd just sit there and eat it all and not realize exactly what I was eating so that was really mind blowing and has I don't have chocolate in the house much anymore because I don't have the ability to um, yeah. portion it very well so that was huge realizing what calories are in what things and that you can actually eat something very similar but might have a third or a quarter of the calories in it. And, you know, also then looking at um, to fill, you know, looking at vegetables and making sure there are greens with everything for dinner and, um, you know, making sure I get my proteins in. And there was, there's been so much learning um, how food links to metabolism and energy levels and making sure I get my water in because that's another, you know, not only does it fill you up a little bit, it also brings the energy levels in. So, the, the habit stacking part of it was really, and that was back to the shred for those who haven't done it, but the habit stacking part of it was really beneficial to try and just take small steps because we're all busy. We all get overwhelmed, I guess, with starting new journeys and it was really broken up very slowly into small steps that can be easily achieved. Um, and I guess you were never... You know, you never said you have to do this 100% of the time. It was just try and do it as much as you can. And that and that your um, support as well as the support of the community that were the Facebook community was massive. There are still some girls on there that, you know, we went through the shred together. I got to meet for the first time on Zoom the other night. It's And, you know, I feel like I've known them for forever. Um, and we we haven't, but we've been through this journey together, which has been amazing and really supportive so, sorry that was probably way off topic <laughs> no no uh, this is perfect yeah so that there was so much to it so much to the the journey and I've the learning that I've taken from it I've continued using through you know now we're in the metabolism like there's the next section of it there's still more learning but from the 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 shred just being able to, when I'm struggling or when things aren't going to plan because they don't always, just being able to take a few key points so that I still feel like I'm getting my energy in and not blowing it with foods that I would have eaten before because it's just easier. So 
Amazing. That is obviously from, from what I'm hearing, that's impacted your lifestyle overall. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and I've learned to take time to cook for myself because my little ones um, are gluten and dairy free. So oh, wow. very, they, you know, that was a huge journey and we're still going through that journey of why and what what's going on for them, but it was so easy to just cook their dinner and then just not worry about, oh, I'll just like snack or have noodles or whatever because it's another, you know, when the boys are here, it's different because we I cook for them as well. So we often had meals, but the week that they're not here, I just kind of was too tired or couldn't be bothered. But now I know I can pull out some steamed greens and pull out some chicken that's already cooked and, you know, or pull out a meal that I've already prepared and frozen and it just makes it so much easier and I do have more energy. So, Oh, wow. Oh, fantastic. Yay. Mm. With, you know, sometimes you've got five kids in the house too. So Yeah, yeah. So there's seven people to feed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my goodness, you are a busy woman. <laughs> oh, wow, my hat's off to you. You mentioned at the start um, about doing a 1,200 calorie before your wedding, 1,200 calorie one, mm. um, and lots of movement. This is actually something I discuss with a lot of women and about my the way I operate is we don't go to 1200 unless it's like for one or two weeks at the end of a shred right mm. um how did you find coming from having done a 1200 calorie program before how did you find that especially that first week or two of the shred where we're eating nearly 1600 calories how tell me about that process maybe if you can um I didn't my I didn't like for me it wasn't I was probably a little bit hungry to be honest because I before, like that was seven or eight, six, seven years ago that I did that. So that was a long time ago. And I was eating way more calories, I would imagine, than the 1600. Yeah. So, but what I used is the greens and making sure I was having the free foods along the way. I know there were some um, girls from work that found that a lot of food because they didn't eat that much during the day. So it was really interesting to reflect on how it was different for everyone. Um, but I guess the beauty of it was having the six meals, having six times that you could eat as well as then, you know, the free foods in between, um, meant that even if I was hungry and making sure I was getting my water in, like I was constantly thinking about eating and drinking, which I guess you don't do, you don't necessarily think that's going to happen when you're doing a shred or a diet or a, you know, fasting, definitely not. So although I was hungry, um, it was manageable and then we just I kind of got used like just used to it and then the drops were so small in calories through the eight weeks that you didn't really notice it I guess no so you still yeah. achieved an amazing result yeah <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah yes so no and I the the biggest thing for me was making time to prep yeah. making the time on a busy weekend to make sure that I'd done all the the prepping of the food. And um, I actually had a week this week where things didn't go to plan and my husband and I were sick on the weekend and I didn't prep. Worst thing I've ever done. Worst thing I've ever done. This week my food has not been, like I've still been able to rely on the things that I know, but, yeah, ne I will be prepping tomorrow. So it's it, it really shows how important it is to get that in so that you can have food to go to and you know when you're tired you're not thinking about oh I've got to cook like it's all it's all done so yeah it's that being able to make sure that you do prioritize yourself right because mm -hmm. people feel guilty oh I don't need to meal prep meal preps actually that hour or two is actually just self-care yeah as you just pointed out right <laughs> and looking at some of the girls on the in the group like in the mastermind and also because they're still doing it and in the um shred looking at their meal preps um was incredible so it's very motivating when you see all of the, and you might have thought oh, I'm just not going to do it this again and then you see all their meals and I thought well no, no I'm going to be prepping because you know I know I need to and it looks really good and the food looks amazing so um yeah, that was that's been really beneficial as well for those days where I just didn't feel like I didn't feel like it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I wanted to stand up there and get it all done, but it's definitely worth it as the week progresses. And there's so much to be said for I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just like my OCD brain or something. There's something to be said for opening that fridge and just seeing everything planned. Yeah, 
Oh yeah. No, no, no. That's well, I might have an OCD brain too, but that's very much um yeah, it's it's so nice. And it actually takes the stress off. Yeah. Um, it's one less thing to think about. You know, I didn't have to ever think about me. Um, I started doing it for my husband as well. So then there were times and he didn't want to eat like the same thing all the time, but I'd just do a few extra meals and then you know, he was able to sort of go, yeah, I, I just want to grab something easy. So it was all there, ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? I mean, it doesn't happen all, for everyone all the time, but when mm. you when you can incorporate it and make the time, you certainly feel more beneficial for it. Mm. Yeah. Sarah, you've seen amazing results. I just, um, everyone can see your images on our socials. So if you want to, if anyone wants to see, um, your results they can go and have a look but I know that you are proud of that you should be I it's been an honor seriously for me watching your journey um, you know you were someone who did give it your all and you were there every week submitting steps and you were asking questions and you were just taking it all on board what is one thing and I know it might be hard to narrow it down <laughs> to one but what is one thing that you think learned on this journey and maybe are still learning on this journey because you're in the mastermind that you know is going to stick with you now being consistent is probably the biggest thing that I have learned along the way it's very easy to do something for a week or two um it's very easy to just go yep okay it's the eight weeks of the shred you know well no not easy but you know, there's a there's a goal at the end. We had the group. There was a group of us at work when we're still doing it together. But it was very easy to go. Here's the eight weeks. I've got to get to the end of it, and that's done. And I think being consistent from then on is the biggest thing that I'm learning. Um, and to you know, if I am feeling tired, to to just put that extra effort in and make sure that I'm, you know, trying to get my steps in where I can and trying to make sure I food prep where I can. And and that is the biggest thing for me because. Um, otherwise I feel like it will just all go away. <laughs> um, and you know, it, it is a hard thing to do. Um, but that's probably my biggest learning, I think. Being consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Is part of that building those habits too? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do it. yeah. 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 And that, that's, um, that I mean, that there's so many things. You said one, and I'm not good at following instructions. So I'm trying to stick to one, but there are so many things that that um, I took away from it, and that will go with me for you know for my journey now, long into the future. Um, yeah, so habit stacking was really important as well because taking one thing at a time, taking small steps. We're all busy. We all have so many things going on. We'll, you know, I'm sure everyone feels like they can't do it at different points and that's fine. You know, there are different times that will come in and you can't stick to it for whatever reason for that day or that week. And it's just about getting back on and being consistent as much as you can and picking it up and moving on with it, you know, even if you've had a bad day or a bad week or, um, yeah, just taking that learning and continuing on after whatever that period of time is and moving forward with it after that. That's phenomenal. Consistency is one of my favourite words, right? Yeah. And you've, you've nailed it too because it's that is that is something I'm trying to work with women on is it's, most people can do a six or eight-week shred, but it's what you do the other 90% of the time of the year that actually sets you up, that actually gives you energy, makes you happy, makes you comfortable, confident, and you are right. It's that consistency. It's building those habits to just do it. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel so much better now in the way that I am and my energy levels and, I mean, they fluctuate anyway, but before yeah. the shred I just was not happy with with me really um, and didn't, like I struggled to find clothes that fit or that I was comfortable in and so, you know, the, and I've still got, um, and I know I've heard other girls in the mastermind say they've still got a way they want to go and they've still got some weight they want to lose and I'm the same. But I guess it's around making sure that we look after our bodies as well in between the weight loss. So, and I know you've been really, that I've learned a lot because I probably just would have kept going and just tried to lose it all in one go, but making sure that our bodies are nourished and, you know, we're not always sitting in that calorie deficit. Um, yeah. Your words. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, so the, yeah, 
it's been really good. And I will, you know, at some point get onto another bit of a shred or a bit of a, you know, finding my calorie, what's it called? Your maintenance. That one. And then maybe just drop, dropping a bit underneath it to sort of slowly keep losing a bit of weight, but I'm not there yet. I'm just sort of. Building the habits and finding yeah. that that consistency yeah and that's really important too because if we try and spend you know six months in a in a deficit bye-bye energy levels bye-bye muscle mass bye-bye happiness Mm. yeah yeah, that's and that's the beauty of you know so many women think they just need to live for the rest of their lives on 1200 calories and it's something I'm really trying to smash out Mm. And you've proven that you, you know, you won a shred where we never even touched 1200 calories. No, no. And you're maintaining and we're still not doing 1200 calories. No, no. And I don't think I've found my maintenance level as such yet. I, I think some of the girls are probably a bit closer because I had a bit of a wobbly January, but it's January, um, right. It's yeah. January. <laughs> um, but you know, that's interesting. That's my next learning, I think, to find where my maintenance level is. Um, and then that will help me moving forward in the future when I'm not shredding or I'm not losing weight or, you know, also to help me make sure I'm not gaining yep. weight as just, well. So just that's my next step. healthiest self. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I've got one more question for you and then I'm going to let you go. So thank you so much. It's all right. What would you say to a beauty who is sitting on the fence about jumping on board with the, joining the inner fit family and maybe trusting our process. Do it. Do, do it. <laughs> do it. Look, it is it is really hard. If you're not in the mindset um, and you're not ready, that can be really hard to take the step. But I guess moving through the inner fit family, even if you just join the Facebook group um, as a start so that you can start to see some of the way that it works and meet some of the lovely ladies in in that group and I noticed that you know the ladies who are in the metabolism mastermind will comment on that a lot so you'll get to see their you know mm-hmm. their comments along the way and there's learning from you in that group as well and then um you know just see what we're doing see how easy it really is um and and even if you just take one small part of it to start with so you know even if it's a step challenge that comes along or if it's just following one of the recipes or if it's just making sure water is increased just just one part I found it easiest to jump into the shred because it was a competition so for some ladies out there it might be that when the next shred comes along that would be the best time but if you're in the inner fit um, Facebook page then you'll know when that comes out because that's how you promote it so um, that might be easier for some people. And I know my auntie and my cousin have just joined the group. They've just joined the Facebook group just to sort of see what's going on. And, you know, they're not ready at this point. They're doing some other things. They're not ready at this point to move too much further forward with it yet. But just being there, then they can see what's going on and and move forward. But, yeah, I came from a long way of not feeling comfortable and trying so many things and, um this was the best thing I've ever done. And so I know, you know, yeah, you've got to be in the right mindset to do it, but even just jumping on the group and just getting started through there or asking questions or, yeah. Beautiful. That's what we're here for and answer those questions mm. and get people off the 1200 calorie cycle. Yeah. Don't <laughs> eat more food. You can, you can eat more food. <laughs> yeah, that would be on my tombstone, tombstone when I die, wouldn't it? <laughs> eat more food. <laughs> Sarah, thank you so much for joining us today. And again, congratulations on your journey. You are an inspiration and I hope you know that. Thank you. Thank you. All right.